This is Zach and this is my YouTube channel Honda How To and today we're going to show you how to build a turbo D series engine. Okay to start off we're going to be putting in our main bearings. These are ACL race bearings that we're going to be putting in. I've never used anything but ACL and they're a pretty good product so let's get to it. Okay, so first you want to pop these bad boys in. Make sure the bottom of the bottom of the journal of or whatever you want to call it or the block is dry. Do not lube that at all. Set her in, and we'll just go down the line. Oh, that one's a little crooked. Get it in there. Okay. Bam. Okay, it's as simple as that. Make sure everyone's nice and set down in there. Okay, now we're gonna take our assembly lube and we're gonna lube these bad boys up. Be kind of generous with the stuff. It is an engine we're talking about. There, that looks perfect. Okay. Now, what we're gonna do is we are gonna grab our crankshaft. We're gonna put the shaft in the block. Get up here. Very, very gentle. There we go. Cool beans. All right. Now, we're going to be placing the girdle on there. I suppose we should get some bearings in this bad boy too. So let's pop these guys in there. Got a little assembly loop on my fingers there. Like a bit of lube. Just a little bit, not much. And then, scoop the crank over a little bit. Slide her in. Nice and deep like. Same with the other one. And if you guys don't know, these little dips in the thrash washers, those stick outward. Those don't go towards the block, they go out. So they're facing out on the side, on the side of the crank. Smooth the crank back over. Let's see if we can get this guy to slip in there. There we go. Now we're not going to deal with what DSMs deal with. Crank lock. <laughs> yeah, this way. Now, we're gonna, I think Honda recommends two steps of certain torque on these. We're gonna go first step, second step, and since it's gonna have a lot of boost, we're gonna probably go a little bit higher. We're gonna tie in a third step. Um, I'll have to see what the torque calls for, but we're probably gonna go 20 to 25 foot pounds more than what you're supposed to stop at, so let's get to that.
Okay. Now the crank should be done. Now it's time to pop pistons in this bad boy. Okay, now we're gonna flip the block and we're gonna try to keep this episode short. We're gonna show you guys how to put one piston in and then we'll pick up on the next episode. Okay, for the people that don't know this, this little notch on your bearing, this, that notch, see if I can get you to see this. See how this side's bigger, deeper indent? That's your intake side. That notch always goes to your exhaust. And on the bottom of your connecting rod cap, always goes in line. So it pretty much interlocks those two little notches just like that okay now let's get some fucking lubrication at the new bitch balls <laughs> clean this bitch out Again, they're nice and deep like. <laughs> the more the lubrication, the more the, the fisting action. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the more penetration you get. Okay. One well, of my fingers all wet. That's what she said. Yeah. Okay, now on this, I want to make sure you get the skirt and all the rings nice and damp. That's the stuff. Okay, now we should turn the crank a little bit. Get that bad boy. Kind of snug 
doen. Hè. Okay. No, let's get a cap. Got our cap. Lube some on there. Now remember you want those little notches right there to interlock. So we're going to be putting this notch on the opposite side of this notch. The nut must not be all the way down. Get a little hammer out here. Now we gotta torque these bad boys to the spec. What ARP says, we're gonna go just a tad higher. And you want to tighten these up even, because if you get a cockeyed rod cap, that'll be a bad, bad, bad day. And that should be it. Okay. Well, that should be it for now. We'll probably put all the rest of the pistons in the next episode. Be sure to stay tuned. We're going to be getting this thing rolling here pretty soon. So if you like this video, please subscribe, share it to your friends, and that would be much appreciated. I'll see you guys in the future. See you later.